For both businesses and homes, it's important to have remote access to their security system. A lot of them use peer-to-peer -peer technology, but it has its downsides. In this video, we'll show you how to set up a safe connection between your security device and the wide area network. Let's look at how to use port forwarding to securely access your security surveillance device over a wide area network. Port forwarding is a network technique used to allow remote access to a computer or service on a private network. It is used to forward incoming network requests to a specific computer or service within a private network. This is usually done by configuring a router or firewall to forward requests from a public IP address to an internal IP address. This allows users to access services from outside the private network, such as remote access to a computer or information stored on a network file server. When a device outside of the private network attempts to access a service on the private network, the router configured for port forwarding will forward the request to the appropriate device on the private network. The router will also keep track of the connection so that any response from the device on the private network is sent back to the requesting device. This allows external devices to access services on the private network without needing to be part of the private network. When it comes to port forwarding, P2P is a more convenient way to connect your devices for remote access. Peer-to-peer -peer functionality is built into many security systems, eliminating the need for port forwarding. P2P cloud access employs a technique known as hole punching, which has some drawbacks. Because the service is in the hands of a third party, and there is no encryption. Therefore, high security applications relying on P2P can be a risky approach. And, when you join a peer-to-peer -peer network, you are choosing to trust a group of strangers, which also can be extremely dangerous. Let's see how we can port forward for a Hikvision DVR system. Connect your DVR to the main router using an Ethernet cable. Step 1. Enable the DHCP server with your DVR, navigate to the DVR admin menu and select the DHCP option from the network settings. Once enabled, make a note of the device's local IP address. Remember to uncheck the option once you've obtained the local IP address. Step 2. Open the command prompt. You can do this by searching for CMD in the start menu. Type IP config and press enter. Look for the line that reads default gateway. Default gateway is your router's IP address. Step 3. Type the router IP address into the browser address bar. Step 4. Enter the router admin username and password, which is usually located on the back of the router. Navigate to the port forwarding section in the router setting menu. This will usually be under the advanced settings menu or the security settings, NAT. Create a new service or application you would like to forward the port to with TCP protocol. Step 4. Go to ugetsignal.com, enter the port number, and check the port status to test the newly opened port. If the port is open, the status will be successful. That's it. You've finished port forwarding. Cube Training can help you to excel in your security alarm career by providing you with a range of learning resources and tools. From online videos and tutorials to hands-on training sessions, Cube Training can help you to gain the skills and knowledge you need to succeed in the security alarm field. With the help of Cube Training, you can learn how to install and operate a variety of alarm systems, understand the latest regulations and safety guidelines, and even understand the various components and technologies used in modern alarm systems. You can also take advantage of Cube Training's online customer service and support, which can provide you with additional guidance and advice on how to use the equipment and troubleshoot any issues you may encounter.
With Cube Comprehensive Learning Resources, you can learn the skills and knowledge you need to become a successful security alarm technician. Visit our website today to learn more about starting a career in the fire and security industry. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for further updates.